28, letter A. What is the ratio of the speed of red light to violet light in diamond, based on the table? All right, so these are some of the values. So they give us the index of refraction for red light uh, in diamond, and here's the index of refraction for violet light in diamond. So what we're asked to find, though, is we're asked to find the ratio of the speed of red light to the speed of violet light in, the, in diamond. So we have to recall, and they give us the index of refractions. So we have to recall the formula for index of refraction. It basically is a ratio. The index of refraction of anything is based on the speed of light in a vacuum divided by then the speed of light, uh, we'll call it V, in that particular medium. So if they tell us the index of refraction for red light in diamond, well then this would represent the velocity of red light in diamond. All right. And if I wanted to solve this equation now for the velocity of red light in diamond, I would get something that looks like this. So what I can basically do now is take this fraction and I can plug it in for this, okay? And what you would notice is you would do basically the same exact thing for now the violet light, all right? In other words, this ratio now works out to be the speed of light divided then by the uh, index of refraction for red light in diamond divided then by the speed of light divided by the index of refraction for violet light in diamond, okay? Now cleaning this up a bit, you know that we can basically multiply the numerator fraction by the reciprocal of the denominator. That might help make this thing make a little more sense. So this is gonna be C over N sub R times an N sub V over C. Notice what happens to now the Cs, they go bye-bye. In other words, what we just found was we found that the velocity of red light to the velocity of violet light in diamond is then equal to the index of refraction of violet light in diamond divided by the index of refraction of red light in diamond. Huh, interesting result, right? So just plug in now the numbers. So we're going to have 2.458, uh, all then divided by 2.410, okay? And basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find it. So 2.458, divided them by 2.410, and we're gonna get about 1.0, 1. 1. I guess two, right? That's probably good enough. Maybe if you wanna round another zero, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? So that's about the ratio. Now, we're gonna do the same thing it says for letter B, but this time in polystyrene. So I'm not gonna derive everything again, right? Because it's just basically straightforward. Uh, instead of, in this case, uh, the values now for the violet light are no longer going to be 2.458, now it's 1.506, okay? So this now becomes 1.506. And then the bottom number becomes 1.488, okay? 1.488. Do that calculation now, 1.506 divided by 1.488. And this comes out to now be 1.012, okay? So that's now the ratio, okay? So then it says, uh, which is now more dispersive? So it's asking which medium, diamond or polystyrene? So basically, anytime you have a larger difference, all right, anytime you have a larger difference in the velocities of light, that represents more dispersion. So larger difference in velocities of the different wavelengths of light or frequencies of light. Uh, the larger the dispersion. So this ratio here tells us that we have basically roughly a 2% difference, okay, between these two. And then uh, the second one tells us that we got about a 1.2% difference between these two. So which one is larger? Well, this is a larger difference between the velocities, okay? So therefore the diamond, all right, the diamond is going to be more dispersive. Diamond. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Uh, if it did, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. All right, we appreciate it very much, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.